possibly. Uh, probably gonna do like a three-month trial there. But then we have four months. And then we gotta go over our numbers, talk about our strategy. In September, so we're gonna do grow our numbers and uh, do it. So multitasking, multiple business. All right, we got heavy legs, so finally uh, feeling pretty good. My hamstring uh, hasn't felt at all today, so that's good. We got heavy legs, which I was supposed to do at the beginning of this week, but we're gonna do that today. And I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little variable to the heavy leg session where there's gonna be a max out set uh, to help me recalibrate my personalization as I saw my strength increase across the board already. So when I do these uh, max rep sets, I'll set a target weight based on uh, some performance that I've already done, but I'll leave the rep count open, and so therefore it becomes a max effort, and then my system will actually calculate that as a new baseline and then update everything else. So it's uh, a floating baseline based on performance. That's, that's how we're gonna do it. But um, gotta warm up. I'm probably gonna do like a lunge circuit right now, walk back and forth, do some of those, and then we're gonna start with calves, and then we're gonna keep rotating, and we'll start with the leg press today. All right, well, the hamstring's fine, but um, I've told you guys before, um, I think it was in one of these videos, that when lunging, I'm feeling like a lower abdomen. Um, pain, almost like a hernia. Uh, I felt that on every side. Usually it's like only one side or the other. But uh, I might have to get that looked at. You know, I can't feel anything. I'm like popping out right now. I'm like trying to feel down below. But uh, it's a pain, it's an, it's an odd one. So I'll show you. Right here. deal with these things as they come at you and you know I don't freak out right up front but know uh, know what it should feel like know where pain happens obviously adjust if uh, you're doing something wrong technically speaking from form but um, you know some of these things can't be avoided and you got to wait it out see if it is a real true problem and get it looked at or if it's something that might just go away a, a, a tweak a strain a pull those things happen uh, and you should expect them to happen uh, this I think is a little bit different we'll see
or squats, I should say, at the very end. That was challenging. So I had hamstrings supposed to do. I had to skip that one, and I just threw a couple finishers in there. I did the lever squats, threw that in there. Um, a little bit of calves at the end, so I threw a couple extra credit exercises and actually did some things with my shoulders. So I'm gonna actually put the shoulder one in right after this, leaning forward, doing the uh, side lateral raise on the machine, but using my thumb, putting it up in the air. I think I'm gonna switch up the way I've been doing it instead of leaning forward on a bench, using a dumbbell, I could just go heavier here and target the muscle precisely. So much more isolation, stick a pack on the pounds and hit it more effective. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go out of here, head over to Rockbox, do a little bit of work. I gotta go meet with a banker. 7 o'clock at night, then go home, pack, get ready to go to Florida tomorrow.